Hello, my planner lovies, and welcome back to another month of a monthly plan with me. I know, I know, it's been so long since I've talked to you guys, and I do miss you guys. So further ado, um, let's get on with this monthly plan with me. And at the end of this video, I will show you a sneak peek of our December mystery kit. So here's our November mystery kit. This is in the new packaging. So to open this package, you could open on the side that doesn't have the sticker. Just pull out all the freebies and whatnot. And the mystery kit should be inside the envelope. The monthly kit I'm using is a glossy Happy Planner monthly kit. I just want to show you guys that I do keep my envelopes as a pocket to hold my mystery kits because it does contain two other weekly kits that you could use further down the month. So I just reuse my envelope like a pocket like this and keep everything in one so I know it won't I won't lose anything from there. And here's the monthly set that I'll be using. It's our November monthly set that comes in the November mystery kit. Let's get started. As most of you guys know, most of my stickers for the monthly kits are all die cuts. So because it's a die cut style, you will have to layer your stickers in a certain way. And for those who just join you, welcome, join you, join me, welcome. And those who are new to my stickers, please watch this video before you do your monthly spread. I know today is the 1st of November and you guys are anxious, but rule of thumb, I usually design with the sidebar put down first and then your blank date box. And lastly, your title stickers, your title monthly stickers, like the November and the 2016 stickers. And also those who just joined us, the sidebar, you do have an option of building your sidebar. There's five different stickers that you could use. It's usually two longs and one short. So you could choose from all the option that there is to suit your needs. And the ones that you don't use, you could use it for your weekly spreads. As I mentioned before, my stickers are um, die cut type of stickers, so it's not your regular square or rectangle stickers. So please, please be careful when you do pull out the sticker because they are very delicate. Also, another thing you may not know, um, I do do anchors on my sticker, meaning that there will be a corner where you could anchor your sticker to the corner of the page so that you know where to place down and start. So here, as you can see, that's one of the corners and you just line it up with the blank date box and everything should align in its place. Here you can see me just slowly, deftly peeling the stickers off. As I mentioned before, these are my anchor corners right here or at the bottom there. And lastly, the title stickers. With the title stickers, I usually place from the outside in. So here you see me just lining up with the sidebar outside in and here from the outside of the calendar to the inside of this monthly spread. Next, I usually place down the holiday stickers. And here I just realized that right here, November 11th, it's actually in Canada, Remembrance Day. And I forgot to do a sticker for that day because my mind was just like, oh, Veterans Day is the same thing. Once my holidays are down, I start planning the whole month. So I know my December mystery kit is going to start on the first of every month and it's going to run till November 13th. So I'm going to indicate that with my washi strips here. Also, fun fact with this washi tape, washi tape, washi sticker, it's actually the same size as your headers. So even if you don't use it for your monthly spread, you could use it for your weekly spread, as you can see here.
So to indicate my December Mr. Kit pre-sale, I'm actually going to use one of my Aero stickers and place two of them, one at the beginning and one at the end, so I know the duration of the pre-sale. The first is always bills due, and, and my paydays are usually on Wednesday or Thursday, depends on the bank. And here, as you can see, it's the days after Thanksgiving, meaning it's going to be Black Friday, Cyber Monday, so there will be a sale oh, in our Etsy shop and our website on those three days. My father-in-law birthday is actually on the 6th, however that box is full of other stickers. So I'm just going to use the sidebar, uh, the smaller boxes here as you can see as an indication to let me know, remind me that the 6th is his birthday. Also speaking about in-laws, I think they're planning to come do a visit at the end of the month. We're not too sure which days yet, but I assume it'll be a Sunday, but I never know. So I'll just put a flag down there just to remind me that they'll be visiting that weekend. On the 19th, we have our Christmas card photo shoot, so I'm just going to indicate that with a the flag there. Next on my agenda, I like to indicate our meaning my husband and I bi-weekly date nights so we are going to have one on the 5th I believe and another one on the 19th usually when most of the important dates are done I look at the spread and find an empty space and just place my hello monthly sticker on there you can also use the hello monthly sticker on your weekly spread too so there's um, no rule where you could use the sticker, you could use it on the first, you could use it on the sidebar, anywhere you like. While designing the kit, there was a few empty spaces, so I utilized that space with some decorative stickers that you could use once again for your monthly spread or even for your weekly spread. Next is my garbage and recycling schedule. And lastly, my bi-weekly bed sheet changes. I really think by using the monthly kit really helps me utilize this monthly page spread and just to see the month in an overview of what's going on. It's usually at the beginning of the month that it is busy because that's what I know and while it gets towards the end of the month, it get, I fill it in with other things. Here I forgot to indicate my date nights with these beautiful rose gold foiled stickers by All That Shine. And I'm going to fill everything in with a Sharpie pen because the kit I'm using is actually a glossy set. As I mentioned before in my previous video, I do highly strongly recommend you guys to get the glossy instead of the matte. And there we go, my monthly's done. Also want to show you guys the Erin Condren version. This is the mock-up that I usually do. As you can see, the layout is very similar. You have your blank boxes there but however the sidebars are on the opposite side. Over the weekend I have posted a few sneak peeks of the December Mystery Kit color scheme. Now there's a lot of confusion from before was when people were wondering which color scheme to pick. You get all three. The color scheme is actually the whole kit itself. Um, I do these color schemes so that you guys can plan ahead to see if you do like the colors for your monthly and weekly spread. But all three comes with the kit. And here you go guys, this is the official sneak peek of the December Mystery Kit. As I said before, it's not going to be a themed Christmas kit more of a winter theme kit. So it is on pre-sale right now at our website www.thepinkroomco.com or in our Etsy shop. And as always, pre-sale is listed at a discounted price plus free shipping worldwide. Also, if you do want to get your kit sooner, I would suggest you guys to purchase it right away now because we ship out in the order that it comes in. So if you wait six days before or after, sorry, after the pre-sale, your order will obviously be shipped further down the line. And because it's free shipping, there is no way for us to track your orders unless you guys opt for upgrade and if you want to upgrade your shipping it's additional charge and please contact us for that when we ship your item we do send out an email notification 
so please check your junk mail because I know when I do send out notification some of my emails get into your junk mail full box full box folder in your mailbox thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video bye happy planning